Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylists. Great! Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Wait a second, did I just share too much? It's a dapper pirate. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Of course you are. Okay then, who are you? Edward Van Helgen. Not the... That's right, mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglecakes Van Helgen. Dude! How would you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast. We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threepwood. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. Gentlemen? That's me all over. Then prove it. If you can defeat me in a gentleman's duel, I'll join your crew. All right, let's get to dueling. No, no, no. There are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient insults. Mm, okay. Hey, that's a nice shirt. How long have you been colorblind? Oh, please. Nice cologne you're wearing. Did you actually roll around in dung or just dab a little behind each ear? That's not the type of insult I had in mind. Did I mention you're a big old bedwetting duty head? No, but I'm still not impressed. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. That's an old one. Come back when you have some fresher material, eh? I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? You went from pirating to hairstyling. Why? The music of the sea is something that takes hold of your soul and never lets go. But the life of a sailor is a rough one, and the sea shows no mercy. It was no easy choice to leave, but I realized that I could still enjoy the music of the sea while remaining safely on land. Through affordably priced sea shanty compilation albums? Uh, no. By starting a barbershop quartet, obviously. Obviously, but there are only three of you. Auditions didn't go as well as we'd hoped. We once had a tenor named Dominique, but he left. Artistic differences. <laughs> you still haven't explained why you chose hairstyling. Well, we spent so much time coming up with a clever name for the shop, we realized we were going to have to give up singing and actually become barbers. But I still like to think that we're not just cutting hair. That maybe, just maybe, we're teaching people a little bit about themselves. Are you truly happy with this line of work? I may return to the sea one day, but for now I'm happy helping pirates look their very best. At least until we find a fourth for our barbershop quartet. I could be the fourth for your barbershop quartet. Uh, no, no, uh, that's okay. I was wrong. We don't need one after all. Oh, come on, I've really got away with a ballad. All right, then. Let's hear what you've got. Oh, there's a monkey in my pocket and he's stealing all my change. His stare is blank and glassy. I suspect that he's deranged. Oh, my dear, sweet, merciful savior in heaven. Pretty good, huh? You must take an oath now, before man and God, that you will never, ever again sing in public. So, what are you telling me exactly? Let me try out for your barbershop quartet again. No! Oh, please, please. The spirit of music is in me. All right, but this is the last time. Once my old man spoke to good King Triton and asked, why all this senseless fighting? Why can't we men express emotion? Now I've got a friend in the...
Great sainted jumping monkeys. What do you think, huh? That was even more atonal than last time. Hey, let me try out another song for your barbershop quartet. Am I just not getting through to you, Threepwood? Come on, this time will be great. Trust me. If you insist. Plunder, plunder, how I wonder how'd you get so doggone pretty? Home to sailors, barbers, tailors, and Puerto Pollo, your capital city. Mother of all that we as humans hold sacred. Well? You're actually beginning to make me physically ill. Please, stop. Listen to me sing again. You'll love it this time. I really, really, really don't want to. No, believe me, I'm just getting warmed up. I'm hooked on you, baby, but the seas keep us apart. And there ain't no eye patch big enough to cover up my broken heart. Words. I need more words. My grasp of the language is not sufficient to describe the violent, retching nausea your singing is causing me to experience. I'm not following you. Is that a good thing? I've got one song left for you. It's a showstopper. Okay. Whatever. For those cold dark shipboard nights, we've got boxers, briefs, and tights made from cotton, silk, or satin in styles Anglo, Dutch, and Latin. When you sail, don't take a chance wearing nothing neath your pants. Trust Silver's Long Johns. They breathe. That's odd. What? What? You liked it? No, no, no. It was dreadful. It's just that my queasiness has subsided. But now I'm beginning to taste metal and see spots before my eyes. I'm afraid that your singing is so bad that it has caused me to have a stroke. I bet you have a ton of cool pirate stories. No, I couldn't. Well, come on. I'd really like to hear some of... The year was 1675. We were on a course towards the wreck of the rattling phlegm. Our days were filled with songs of the voyage and the untold riches we'd find at our destination. Two months into our journey, we realized something was horribly wrong. Was it some kind of seasickness? In a manner of speaking, we were all stricken with a melody. A diabolical song that I shall never forget. La 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 Hey, that's kind of catchy. Aye, all too catchy for a crew of 50 men confined to a ship hundreds of miles from port. No one could think of anything else, and many threw themselves into the sea rather than hear any more of the incessant humming. We returned with but eight of our crew left. The doomed voyage of the Obsessivo Compulsivo will haunt me forever. Whoa, look at the time. Gotta scoot. Now there's a challenge to the field of honor. <laughs>